Skylar Richardson says her baby was a stillborn, but prosecutors argue that she's killed that newborn. That now 20-year-old woman who had who was acquitted on the aggravated murder, involuntary manslaughter, and endangering children. Now, she was convicted of abusing a corpse, but now retired detective says he still doesn't believe she's innocent of murder. Katie Johnson spoke with him. I still believe that the baby was alive. Despite Skylar Richardson's acquittal on murder and manslaughter charges, Lieutenant John Fain says he believes she is responsible for the death of her daughter, Annabelle. Fain says he first thought that during Richardson's first police interview. I had to have a baby and it wasn't alive. Okay. Um. I didn't kill the girl. Just from experience, a lot of times over the course of my career, people that are the most guilty are the ones that are so adamantly, defiantly telling us and overtly, I didn't do this, I didn't do this. That was part of it, and then just the secrecy. Oh, I still don't really want to tell them, but now they're going to know. The next six days were spent collecting evidence, which led to interrogation number two. Did you guys lie to the parents? Um, we, we did not. It was exactly what I told him was, we've had more information and there's some more questions I need to ask her. Information detectives received right before that interview would change the course of the investigation. Literally before Detective Carter and I walked into the doorway, Dr. Updegrove from the coroner's office came to the Carlisle Police Department and he said, before you go in there, I need you to know the bones were definitely charred. She definitely set this baby on fire. Given 100% certainty from a medical professional, Fane and Detective Brandy Carter pushed the issue. I never, I sure. I Richardson went from denying it to admitting it. I tried to clean this baby just a little. Richardson also said she maybe heard her baby gurgle and saw her move. False confessions, the defense said, based on coercion and detectives who were falsely nice. I'm Detective Carter and she's even by nature, she's not a hand holder. She's just not that kind of person. But it was Skyler, you know, who reached across for her. A lot of times the situation dictates what we do more than we dictate the situation. Well, Richardson was sentenced to three years probation for abuse of a corpse.